Hello. We're going to invite you on a little odyssey that I'm taking today. Uh, we're going to get in uh, my car, drive around the parts of the district that are close and accessible, and, and representative of the district. Uh, we can't go everywhere. We can't go to Nogales, Patagonia, Tubac, Tumacacuri, San Luis, Somerton, Avondale, Gila Bend, Ajo. Uh, but we're going to do this part of the district. Because my opponent, Nick, uh, doesn't live in the district. So I thought we'd provide this little travelogue uh, this, uh, and show him the parts of the district he doesn't know anything about. And, uh, and do so in a way that uh, educates him. So that's what we're going to do. Hope you join with us. Thank you. where uh, my mom lives, where my sister lives, and where I grew up, uh, over here on Montana Street. Uh, I went to, uh, that's where I grew up, with my mom, dad, and my two sisters. Yeah, it's a, and my mom's gonna be 95 years old on the 10th of November, we're gonna have a party. When you're driving up South 12th and you see this mural at this car wash, it's been here forever. I love this mural, Nick. It's, uh, you know, I've always seen it here at the car wash as a welcoming. Welcome to the South Side. And this is the famous talking mural. Right? And it is beautiful, and I thought, Nick, you'd, you'd like to see it. And you should come to Oasis and uh, get some of their treats. They're delicious. It's really nice to have uh, a mountain and all this other protected area. Uh, that the county and the city have done so well at uh, having this this green space, this natural space, uh, right in the urban part of the di of, of the city, in the district. It's, it's really a good it's really a good thing. Okay, we're in uh, this is a Menlo Park neighborhood. It's a wonder. It's a great neighborhood. Beautiful homes, uh, each individually done. Over on my right is uh, Councilwoman Regina Romero's office. She's doing a great job, by the way. And I love this house right there. When we first got married, if I would have had the money, but I didn't. Uh, it's a great neighborhood. Families have been here for a long time. Uh, I, I love walking this neighborhood because every house is unique. And uh, and you have families that have been here for generations. And I, uh, a lot of good people have come out of Menlo Park. And... Uh, it's a good neighborhood, it really is. And, uh, on my left is a is the uh, Pets Chili Dogs, a tradition all of its own. And on the other side was Cocido Estrada American Legion Post, uh, which is named which is named after a Medal of Honor recipient. El Rio Neighborhoods Center, built out of struggle and tradition, led by. Like Salomon Bandinegro, me as a kid, a bunch of great people that helped build that and uh, brought a lot of focus and attention to the needs of uh, the communities out on this side of town. And uh, I'm very proud of my participation in that. Hey, Nick, that's the Pima County Jail, uh, a place that I'm, I'm sure you would like to see me in. Isn't this beautiful on a rainy day as we go up uh, towards Gates Pass? All this is open space set aside in 1929 by the Board of Supervisors, Tucson Mountains. And then you have Sawado National Park West. All this land needs to be preserved from being torn up, being extracted, and letting, all, and letting commercial buildings go and houses go on to it. This is why Tucson is unique, Nick. I hope that you understand why I fight so hard to make sure that we leave this alone. Right now we're on the route for the streetcar, the uh, $63 million uh, stimulus package that we got under Obama when we were recovering from the Great Recession. And what's happened on Congress Street 
it was not in the shape that it's in. The streetcar has brought it all back to life. Unique places to come, venues for great music, Rialto, Congress Street Hotel, and uh, the screening room. Uh, all good places, uh, great entertainment, great music, and very much alive and vibrant. So, uh, very proud of us and uh, my office and the work that we did to, to help secure that grant. By the way, Nick, this is the University of Arizona. It's in District 3. Uh, I'm an alumni. It's a great institution. And uh, I learned a lot. And I'm very happy to be an alumni. Now that we've seen parts of District 3, we continue our odyssey and in going into where you live. Nick, we just passed Campbell. Now we're essentially in District 2. Turn right onto Campbell Rock Drive. Neighborhoods used to be part of District 3, but it, we lost them in redistricting, and uh, I miss them. Good progressive people. I'm assuming that you're going to vote for Leah Marcus Peterson because she's a Republican and you're a Republican, and uh, you can't vote for yourself because you don't live in District 3. Turn right onto Campbell Rock Drive. Okay, now I'm turning right on Castle Rock Drive. Oh my God. Well, I don't know. Well, let's see where all this leads us. I'm a little confused. Can't get into the to the neighborhood. But let's see here. Maybe there's an entrance here. You have left the planned route. Directions will resume automatically when you return to the route. Do you need updated directions? Please say yes, no, no. or cancel route. Nick, we're at the front of, uh, I guess, where the neighborhood that you live. It's a, we can't get in. We don't have a code. It's a gated community. Uh, good for you. Well, I hope you enjoyed our Odyssey, Nick. But it's time to go home. This is a long way. I've got another 35 minute, 40 minute drive to get back to my house. But uh, it's been educational. I, I hope that you understand that uh, this is not any disrespect. I'm just trying to be helpful. Well, that's the end of our trip. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we presented some information. We tried to educate Nick as to the district. Hopefully. He'll be in a position to learn something. But uh, like I said earlier, uh, it's easy to make attacks that are false. It's easy to try to be, uh, do character assassination and smear in a political campaign. But this is much more important than just that. We're not going to go there. But at least uh, Nick will hopefully address some of the issues that are in the district before this is over so that people can make a choice. I doubt it. I sincerely do. But... We wanted to prove a point today, and I think we have. He's not in the district, and he can't even vote for himself. But with that, thank you for joining us. Have a good one.